Well, the Atchison Hull County Ambulance District Board meeting this week to discuss raising EMT and paramedic pay due to a lack of people applying for the jobs and currently looking for interested people to potentially take this career path. KQ2's Noelle Hardin went up to Tarkio today to speak to the district and see what they are looking for. Being an EMT or a paramedic doesn't always mean saving lives, because for the Atchison Holt Ambulance District, this career makes you part of their family. When you're at the station, your partner becomes your family. We're a dysfunctional family sometimes, but we're, we're a family. But this district is severely lacking in employees and potential new hires, causing the current ones to be working 72 to 96 hour weeks, which is draining to mental health and district budgeting with overtime. Right now we are short four full-time paramedic spots. Um, if you factor in the part-time, we're six or seven short on paramedics. What causes this to be an issue for Atchison and Holt counties is the size of the district, with ambulance coverage being bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island, which is why EMTs and paramedics are in high demand. We cover all of Atchison and Holt County, a um, little over 1,100 square miles, uh, 56 miles of interstate one way. We have the largest land district, ambulance district in the state of Missouri. To fix this issue and potentially get people interested in this career choice, starting wages have gone up for the district. With the cost of everything going up, their wages needed to go up too. So the board uh, met the other night, uh, voted four to one to increase the wage. Um, we did increase our base rate wage. Um, in hopes that we can draw in some, some more employees. While this line of work may not be for everybody, the district recommends anybody who may be interested to give it a try. And even if it doesn't stick after training, knowing how to save someone's life is an added benefit. Reporting in Targio, Missouri, Noelle Hardin, KQ2 News. For anyone interested in learning more about the Ambulance District or for any training or employment questions, you can find contact information at this story on our website, kq2.com.